Hi everyone, Letty here with this beautiful place, Tarot. How's everybody doing today? Today's reading is going to be, how do women view you? Okay, like, share, subscribe to my channel. Sorry, I have not been posting that much, guys. I've been really busy with work stuff, so yeah. <laughs> um pile one we're gonna do uh incense sticks pile one is gonna be feng shui pile two is gonna be baby powder i love the way this smells this smells so good y'all and then pile three is gonna be vanilla okay so you can pick by pile pile one pile two pile three or by the incense sticks it's completely up to you i hope everybody is doing wonderful doing great when you see this, because I'm busy with work, guys, I'm not going to charge for the month of July. Um, probably not August either for Patreon, just because I won't be very active over there. Because like I said, I got stuff going on at work. So it's like four o'clock in the morning here. Um, Y'all know I get up early to go to the gym. Um, so yeah, like, share, subscribe to my channel. Thank you to those who love and support my channel. Those of you who book readings, keep in mind, I only have two days available that I'm available right now to read, which is Thursday and Sunday. You have to book and cash app or Venmo me or Zell me the day before, okay? So if you want a reading on Thursday, you have to pay by Wednesday. If you want the reading on Sunday, you have to book by Saturday, all right? Okay, let's get started. Pile one, how do women view you? We're going to break it down uh, for, we're going to break it down between work, co-workers, friends, and family. Okay, because everybody's different. All right, so pile one, pile numero uno, feng shui, if you pick this incense, go ahead and do my mantra, I am happy, I am healthy. I am wealthy. Amen. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, ancestors, Ama, Apa, Abuelos y Abuelas, only benevolent, only good spirits are to be here. No malefic, no trickster spirits, and no demons. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. We remove all hexes, binding spells, curses. Amen. All right. Pile number one. How do women view you? We're going to do the Divine Tarot for Pile one. This is one of my favorite decks. All right, let's do co-workers first. <laughs> How do your female co-workers view Pile one? Archangel Michael. Give me one, please. Top of the deck, middle of the deck, back of the deck. How does... Okay, right here. Mm. Hmm. We got five of swords. Next, we got the chariot. Bottom of the deck, we got the moon. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. Okay, pile one. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't have to be true. This is just how they see you. I'm not saying this is how I see you, right? I'm saying this is how your coworkers see you. It could be just from their perspective. All right, take it with a grain of salt. Pile one, the moon is here. So Pisces, Cancer energy. The chariot is here, double Cancer. Five of swords. First card out in tarot is always the strongest, right? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm getting heavy Aquarius vibes. Five of swords is usually that tit for tat energy. Okay, that win at all costs energy. You're gonna move forward victoriously at work, but you're also um you're also really secretive. So how do people view you at work? People don't trust you at work, pile one. I'll just keep it a buck, especially women. I don't trust you. Um, I feel like they think you're going to either social climb is what I'm hearing with that bridge on that moon card. Or you are just going to keep it moving and pushing. You're going to succeed no matter what with this chariot card. Now, five of swords is tit for tat energy. What does that mean? That means like you're going to win at all costs. 
you know, you're going to, you're going to finish that project. You're going to accomplish that goal. You're going to not let anybody stand in your way. And you're going to do it very secretive. I'm also hearing with this manipulation. So you might either manipulate magic or manipulate people. This is how women see you. So they don't trust you. I'll just say that right off the bat. They don't trust you. Uh, give me a positive card, spirit. Give me, give me an ally of theirs. Show me one of their allies at work, please. A feminine. Okay. Queen of Cups. Yeah. A Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. An empath, a healer. Um, this is one of your allies at work. I'm getting heavy Scorpio. I'm getting told Scorpio right here. Could be you, could be them. Uh, you could be in a healing profession. You could also be, you know, a reader. Is what I'm getting with Queen of Cups energy. If this is an ally. Yeah, but at work, I don't know if you just do like social media. I don't know what you do, right? Exactly. But um, your ally is a Queen of Cups, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You can reverse the genders in tarot, right? It could be a King of Cups. So it could be a masculine water sign. This is coworkers, okay? Again, it doesn't have to be true. This is from their perspective. Give me friends, spirit. Give me three for friends. Archangel Michael. How do their friends see them? I just heard like you're funny. We got ten of wands. Burdens. Ten of wands. Aries Leo Sag. The devil. Oh, we. Again, there goes that manipulation I'm hearing, guys. The devil. Toxic. You could like to drink. You could like to have fun. Ten of Wands, though. Oh, a snake. So Again, some some friends don't trust you, Pile One. They see you as really deceptive. Or somebody who will shed their skin is also what I'm hearing. Mm. Hmm. You know, it, it it's so funny because I know I have ops that come to my channel and they watch my videos. So I get downloads, right? And my spirit guys let me see their face. So I got to keep it as a journal or reading. So there's things that I don't want to say, <laughs> but I'm definitely hearing it because I know who comes and watches me. Somebody here could be a Capricorn or an Aries Leo Sag. King of Coins. Yeah, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. What I say about my ops. My opposition, yeah. I definitely have haters that watch me. Uh, King or Queen of Coins, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Hmm. Some people see you as materialistic. Some people see you as a go-getter. Um, but that devil energy is here. So they don't trust you. They, they see you as toxic once they get to know you. Hmm. Give me one for their ally or their supporter who is a friend, a good person, spirit. Mm, I'm hearing stuff, y'all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, when you're a clear audience, I, I, it's a blessing and a curse, right? Because you, you hear stuff, stuff that sometimes you just don't want to hear. We got the Wheel of Fortune. So people see you as fortunate. Your friends see you as fortunate as like you're going to get through. You're going to survive whatever life throws at you, whatever challenges. Hold on. I got to sneeze, y'all. <laughs> Bless me. I'm blessed. Clarify this devil for me, spirit. Again, I'm going to I'm going to keep this general. Again, this isn't what I see in you. This is their perspective. Your friends? How do your friends see you? Give me one to clarify the devil. Mm, the Empress, Taurus energy, Taurus Libra. Somebody here could be Catholic and can pray to La Virgen de Guadalupe. Somebody does candle magic. Your friends know you do magic is what I'm hearing for somebody here. Your friends know you're into the occult. The Empress is about abundance. So you could be abundant. Fertility. You could have a lot of kids. You could be a mother as well. They know this about you. You're a good mother for somebody here. Ten of Wands is about burdens. 
um you may have a lot of burdens you may have a lot of stuff going on in your life for somebody here i, I i'm gonna keep it so 100 with you when this card came out i heard you complain a lot so you know i gotta give you the good and the bad if i'm gonna be a good reader man so somebody here they don't like that you complain a lot i heard oh no but i'll clarify give me one for friends spirit give me one for friends ten of wands we got page of coins virgo taurus capricorn and that was my foam that went off um you could act immature you could be a younger virgo taurus or capricorn or that could be this person who sees you as a burden or who says you complain a lot <clears throat> okay we'll stop it there how does their family see them give me three spirit top of the deck middle of the deck back of the the deck again i'm gonna say because i think i'm triggering somebody and i really don't care honestly but um yeah some some people they don't see you in a favorable light i gotta give you both light and dark okay all right um how does their family see them closest members let's do siblings parents cousins not not too far off children nine of coins you are hmm. you're an empress so you're you like to do things on your own i'm hearing you don't like taking people's direction. Uh, you like control also is what I'm hearing. But nine of coins is usually, you know, securing yourself. You're pre-emperor, pre-empress. You're abundant. You're working on yourself, your stability. Somebody here, you could like watermelon or sandia. I don't know. But you're single, secure, and independent. Very independent, I just heard. That's how you're... Your kids, your family, your siblings, and your cousins maybe see you that are female. Next, we got seven of wands. Yeah, you get defensive. You put up boundaries. You could work out. Oh, he's chiseled, man. Look at that. Look at that body. <laughs> seven of wands. Some of you could be dark skinned. I don't know. They're giving me Asian as well. I don't know. Uh, seven of wands. Aries Leo Sag. This could be a earth sign or a fire sign that sees you like this. You put up your boundaries, though. You're very independent, they keep saying. King of Wands. Yeah, you're, you're attractive. You're sexy. You are confident. You're bold. Because this, this mofo is definitely sexy. So king or queen of wands is la bruja, right? Brujo. Some of y'all y'all have an ancestry of doing magic, I'm hearing. King of queens. Are regal. They master their element. They're creative. You're a go-getter. You make your money, I'm hearing. You definitely make your money. And that, that's evident with the chariot here. You're going to succeed. So. All right. Comment down below. Let me know if this resonates. I don't want to harp or stay too long on each pile. So that was pile one. Pile one. Let's see. Pile two. The baby powder. I like the way this smells. This smells good, especially in your bathroom. Pile two. The baby powder. Okay, we're going to do the Afro Goddess deck for pile two. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Comment down below. Let me know if this resonates. Let me know if I'm honing in on somebody specific. Okay, pile two, pile two. How do women view you? Let's do co-workers first. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Archangel Michael, please clear out the energy from pile one. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Pile two, give me three. 
top of the deck, middle of the deck, back of the deck. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of cups fulfilled. You could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this could be your coworker. You're fulfilled. You're beautiful, too, I'm hearing. You dress nice. You may have a lot of hair, curly hair especially. They love your hair. They love your style, honestly, is what I'm hearing for pile two. Ooh. Okay. Two, four, six, seven, eight of pentacles. You're a hard worker. They know you're a hard worker. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This could be you or it could be them. They know you're a hard worker, pile two. They know you get shit done. They know you're going to show up. Like if you're scheduled to work, you're going to work. Your wishes are getting fulfilled though. Mm, some of them, they know you like to drink. Bottom of the deck, we got Son of Swords. Son of Swords in this deck is Knight, and Sword, Knight of Swords. I'm going to take these all in the upright, just so y'all know. Uh, Virgo, Taurus. No, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. That's, you know, fast moving, in and out energy. Sometimes impulsive. You could be impulsive. Um, That's that's kind of like my, my sexy card, too. This is one of my sexy cards. This is kind of like Knight of Wands, right? In and out, kind of player energy. They might know you have options. Options in love, options in work is also what I'm hearing. So if you wanted to quit, they know you would have options. Somebody else would find you as a commodity, I'm hearing, but a valuable resource is what I'm hearing. Pile two. Okay, show me their ally. Who's their ally? Their biggest supporter at work. That's a feminine. Archangel Michael, please. Mm, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of Pentacles. They know you're investing in your future. They're also investing in you. This uh this ally at your job. It's a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. That's your biggest supporter at work. Somebody can have short hair. Mm, dark hair or dark features is what I'm hearing. Doesn't have to be. Keep in mind, it's a general free reading on the internet. I'm going to keep it general. <clears throat> okay, that's for work, co-workers. How do female friends see pile two? Give me three, please. I'm going to take these on the upright. We got here the full Aries energy. Could be you or them. Um, They see you as beautiful. You could like roses. You could have long hair. You could be a spiritual person because of her third eye. The fool is Aries energy, which is, you know, the, tw the tarot is called obviously the fool's journey, right? Impulsive energy. You, s you don't think before you take action. You know, your friends see you like that. Like, you're going to be the first to do something. Like, if you say you're going to do it, you're going to do it. That's that Aries energy, that cardinal energy. Um, Some of your fr friends think you're attractive, too. They think you're really good looking. If you are on social media, they think you're good looking. I don't know why that's coming through, but it is. Okay. Middle of the deck, please, spirit. How do their friends that are female see them? Mm. Nine of wands, a wounded warrior. Or is that ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine of wands. So they could know. This is my card. Always the wounded warrior is my card of um, abuse. Verbal abuse, neglect, bullying, um... They could know that you've been through a lot. Sexual abuse, too. Maybe you went through that pile, too. And for that, I'm sorry. But they could know that you went through something really traumatic in your life. That's my card. That's my spirit guides telling me you've been through something traumatic in your childhood. 
your friends can know this. Bottom of the deck. We got here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of wands. So you put your guard up. You put your guard up and you're quick to cut people off. Daughter of Swords is Knight of Swords in this deck. You got nice hips, nice hair. Um, some of you have nice big lips or some of you are dark. I don't know. The Supreme, though, is badass in this deck. It's one of my favorite cards in this deck. So they know you're going to get through anything. Uh, you may have your guard up, though, with people. And you might be quick to be in and out of people's lives. The Supreme is overall badass. So, again, the third eye. They must know that you're either a reader or a teacher. Or a spiritual person, your friends. That's how your friends see you. I'm getting told to take it. The Unk is divine feminine and masculine energy. So you have a good balance between feminine and masculine. Somebody here, you they think you're sexy. Like now I'm getting now I'm seeing this lady's breast. I don't know. I gotta just give you what I see, y'all. What I feel. You're very intuitive as well as what I'm hearing. Pile two. Your friends know this about you. Your friends may come to you for readings. All right, let's move on to family. How does their family see them? And then we'll see who your greatest ally is or supporter. Like, share, subscribe to my channel, guys. Again, I'm not charging anybody for the month of July. Maybe not for August for Patreon because I've been so busy with work, y'all. All right. We got God of Pentacles. This is King of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Stable. Um, Committed, marriage, material. That's wifey. That's hubby. Right? This is how your family sees you. Um, This could be you or a family member. You could interchange the sex and tarot. So stable, committed. You handle your responsibilities is what I'm, I'm hearing about your family. They know you'll pull through. Again, I'm hearing. You take your time to do stuff. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy. Again, these are how women view you and your family, okay? Middle of the deck, spirit. Ooh, we got the chariot. Mm, the chariot. Could be a cancer. They know you will succeed. You're going to pull forward victoriously. Again, with the masculine and feminine energy, it's in balance. I'm taking these all in the upright, y'all. Bottom of the deck. We got the hermit. Yeah, Virgo. Um, I'm feeling like you're maybe close to a Virgo or Cancer here. And then that's look at with the moon. Double confirmation. A feminine. Again, for family, this is kids, brothers, sisters, and parents. Maybe cousins. Like the immediate family is what I'm doing. I'm not doing like distant and shit. The hermit is Virgo. You go in to find your light. I almost thought this was the high priestess, but it's it's Virgo. Who's your greatest ally or supporter in your family? Archangel Michael, give me one, please. Who's your greatest ally or supporter in their family? That's a feminine energy, please. Mm, Ten of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. For somebody here, I just heard your mother. Your mother. Could be somebody that feels you backstabbed them, betrayed them, or you feel like that. But overall, I wanted a, an element. So it's an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. <laughs> Bless me, I'm blessed. Pile two. You might be getting over a cold. I don't know. They told me to say that. Somebody here, you're getting over a cold. Because I sneezed. I don't know. All right. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Let me know if this resonates. We got justice. So maybe a Libra. I don't know. Let me know if this resonates. How do women view you? Do, 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 do. Pile three. Pile three. Vanilla. Vanilla. Incense. Oh, we'll do Tarot Illuminati for pile three. 
I'm taking these all in the upright. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Let me know if this resonates down below. Again, I won't be billing for July or August for Patreon because I'm not going to be uploading a lot. I got stuff going on at work, y'all. All right. Pile three. I'm taking these all in the upright spirit. Um, how do your coworkers that are feminine view you? Hmm. Pile three. You could be a masculine here or have a lot of masculine energy I'm feeling for pile three. Give me three, please, spirit. Top of the deck, middle of the deck, back of the deck. We got four of pentacles. You hold back a lot. Time, resources, money, affection. You could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or they could be the world. Yeah, you're ending cycles and you're beginning new cycles. This could be a Leo, a Taurus, a Aquarius, or Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Or that could be you. You're ending cycles. You're always ending something and beginning something new. You could be famous on the World Wide Web, right? You could also travel. Fixed signs. You could be a fixed sign here or they could be. We got temperance, Sag energy, Sagittarius. Um, you're tempered. You know, you don't let anybody ruffle your feathers because the, <laughs> there's feathers here, right? You could have archangels around you. That's my fix it angel card. So nothing, you can do nothing wrong at work is what I'm hearing. So you have a lot of support actually at work is what I'm hearing for pile three. Um, who's their biggest ally or their biggest supporter at work? Archangel Michael, please give me one. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, probably a Virgo I'm hearing. That's about hard work. Capricorn as well. You're a hard worker. Or this person is, you know, you'll come in early, you'll stay late, you'll do what people ask you to do, uh, you take direction, but you're smart is also what I'm hearing for Pile 3. You could be a masculine. I'm getting a lot of masculine energy here. You could be fit as well, or you do something that is like a blue collar job. You could be like a steel mill worker or a construction worker, even as a feminine you could be in the military or police officer. That's what's up. Shouts out in case you don't know, I'm prior, prior Navy. Um, if it's your first time here, welcome, welcome. So you could hold back though. They see you as somebody who holds back. Maybe you're very private. Thank you, spirit. That's what it was. I didn't say it. You're very private. You don't like a lot of people in your business, especially not at work. Pile three. How do their friends view them that are feminine? Give me three, please, Archangel Michael. How do their friends view them? Mm. <laughs> I'm hearing some stuff. <laughs> I got to keep in mind that this is a general reading because I be hearing stuff, y'all. And I, I'm telling you, I know ops be watching me. My ops, anyway. <laughs> it's so funny. I can see y'all faces, too. Oh, my goodness. We got the emperor. Hmm. You want control. The emperor is like the empress, right? Could be interchangeable. LGBTQ non-binary. The unk is here as well. Divine feminine and masculine energy. Um, They see you as somebody who wants control, who wants power. Maybe you hold a lot of power abundant right the emperor and the empress hold all of the suits the cups swords pentacles wands so they see you as somebody very powerful your friends actually maybe you're somebody that is great to go to for advice the emperor for me is always capricorn and taurus and um sorry and aries you could be a taurus because i said that but uh, Libra energy as well as the Empress. Taurus Aries energy for me, though. Yeah, that's that's zaddy. That's boss dog, right? So whatever you say goes, like, within reason, right? That's how your feminine friends see you? Oh, hold on. I got to do middle of the deck and then back of the deck. 
we got the hermit the hermit maybe you like going out maybe you like doing stuff uh or you like staying home you could be a homebody too you could be a virgo or they could be a virgo <sighs> bottom of the deck three of wands yeah you're always waiting for your ships to come in um somebody I'm, i just heard you're always waiting for them to get ready maybe you're always waiting for this person You could be somebody that's searching for your light. Uh, give me a friend that's their biggest ally or supporter spirit. A feminine energy, please. Aries Leo Sag, in case I didn't say it, wands energy. Five of Swords, wow. So your biggest supporter is an Aquarius Libra Gemini. Tip for tat energy. I, I mostly wanted an element here, guys. They could be a younger um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay, let's move on to your family. 